Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Haha. <laughs> Let's go. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up, haha. <laughs> So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I saw you look at that flower. You'll get far in life, kid. Um, maybe she wouldn't be up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Hmm. New home. I'll be with you shortly, father. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. You'll have to show me that sometime. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. So you're getting my way again. Alright. Kinda close. Dead end. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Kara, huh? That's a nice name. My name 
is and we awaken on a bed of golden flowers piles of garbage there are quite a few brands you recognize just garbage garbage a trash heap your persistent garbage habit shows no signs of payoff. Trash. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. It's a cooler, it has no brand, and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Sure. You got the astronaut food. Heals 21 HP for feeding a pet astronaut. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Sure. You punch the dummy at full force. Feels good. Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you destroyed their home. Us ghosts spend our whole lives looking for a proper vessel. Slowly, slowly we grow closer to our new bodies. Until one day, we too may become corporeal beings. Beings able to laugh, love, and dance like any other. But to you, my cousin's future, you took it all away. Despicable, despicable, despicable. Human, I hope you're not too attached to your body, because your soul's about to get evicted. Actually, I already gave mine away. Mad Dummy blocks the way. Attack 30, defense, yes. Because there are ghosts, physical attacks will fail. Futile, futile, futile. Doop. Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget I said anything about magic. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me. I'm still incorporeal, you dummy. Wait, is dummy a compliment? I'll defeat you and take your soul. Huh. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Then everything I want will be mine! Ha uh, yeah, I guess I'll avenge my cousin. What was their name again? Hey guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! 
Ha 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 ha! Now you'll see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. Dummy bots, magic missile. Dummy bots, try again. Dummy bots, you're awful. Dummy bots, final attack. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 Uh, someone's already tried that. Didn't work out very well for him. What what the heck is this? Uh, acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh wait, didn't you attack me before? Uh, that's awkward. Sorry, have a nice day. Well, I'm going to head home now. Just warning you, so you don't accidentally follow me to my house. You probably wouldn't like that. Thanks. Oh hey, you followed me. My house is up here, so you probably don't want to come this way. Hope that helps. You feel a calming tranquility, you're filled with determination. So there's something I actually want to go and check now. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Yep. The gems on the southern wall shine in a spectacular pattern. It's a nice thing you can see the southern wall from this angle. Three gold for the fairy! Hop on! Thanks for stepping on my face, here's the three gold. You got three gold. We will never speak of this again. Hello there. Goodbye.
Hello again, Snowden Town. I'm actually not 100% sure. Has your dialogue changed yet? Okay, seems the same. So, fun fact, if you kill the boss of the area, you'll still actually get random encounters when you head back. And thank Dog for that, because you can kill Jerry quite a bit faster with better weapons. Not that that much faster, but... And it's always worth it to kill Jerry. This area really is so much more peaceful without those two. Alright, I really just wanted to check the fun value theme here. It looks like I don't have it. Oh well. By the way, I forgot to mention that the ballet shoes and the dusty tutu belonged to the dark blue soul, which is integrity. So there's that fun fact. I'm gonna walk all the way back now. Oh, speaking of integrity, blue, hopping and twirling, your original style pulled you through. You are awarded 2G. I swear that was not planned. Uh, escaped. Well, that was a relaxing stroll. Now let's get back to business. Ah, uh, memories. Oh yeah, another thing I should mention, um, just keep in mind that Ice Wolf has been throwing this ice and it's like going down this river. We'll get back to that. Uh, 
A feeling of dread still hangs over you, but you stay determined. More mold smalls. Let's get back on the ferry. And before I go back to the bird, going to go visit a old friend. Did you hear? You're back! I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starring a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi Peppers. All I've thought of is the name, and I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? No. Totally worth it. Alright, are you finally ready to meet him? Whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Let's talk. About to yourself. I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wahaha. That emblem. Eh, you don't know what that is? Where are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wahaha. That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wahaha. Great name, huh? It's as I always say Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblem's meaning. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legends speak of a tale both in light and dark, and then there's like three heroes, and yeah, it's pretty crazy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the Angel of Death, a, harb a harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wahaha. The King. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. 
about Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wahaha. <laughs> so Gerson's like one of the only like random characters who recognizes that we're a human because he literally fought in the human monster war. So it's actually pretty cool that he's so chill about us and just recognizes that we're just an innocent person in a way. Well, I mean, I guess we aren't really. But you know what I mean. So, cloudy glasses and torn notebook. These belong to the purple soul, which is perseverance. And I always thought, that soul trait must be pretty similar to determination. So that's kind of interesting. Anyways, I'm actually going to grab a CT because it increases your speed for the whole battle. So if you use one in a boss fight, pretty powerful stuff, actually. Be careful out there, kid. I'll try my best. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. It's interesting how it seems like humans actually are capable of magic, but it just seems much more difficult for them, so those seven magicians must have really been something. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. So that lets us know that all this ancient writing must have been written before Terra even got here, so these are very old. You feel something. You're filled with determination. Rich history of Tem. Yeah, I love doors, empty path. That's the only reason I came here. I'm sorry. So I actually want to stay in this area for a bit, because if I'm right, I should actually be pretty close to something special. Ah yes, a completely normal mold small. Uh-oh, it's a mold big. Incredible names.
behind you. Thanks, friend. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls are keen. Keen Asgore Dreamer will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity, and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? H hey, you aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. You hear, okay. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. <laughs> hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Where am I? It's so cold here, and so dark. Someone help me. Anyone, please, help me. Yo! You again? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Haha. <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that, haha. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please. Hmm. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. She isn't by chance named Susie, is she? Guess I have to do it, haha. <laughs> Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo, wait, help, I tripped. Hi, Undyne. What are you going to do? Now it's your turn to make a decision. <laughs> I'm slipping. Undyne, you saved me? Yo, I thought I was a goner, haha. <laughs> Wait, are you okay? It looks like you fell pretty hard. Th this is my fault, I should have stayed away from them like you said. They just went straight to fight you instead of helping me. 
I was so scared and you- What? You're gonna go fight them now? But you look hurt, you should rest, haha. <laughs> Warriors don't rest, huh? Undyne, you're really cool. So that's your decision. Undyne. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Forget it. Look. Papyrus didn't come to his meeting today. Say what you want about him. He's weird, he's naive, he's self-absorbed. But Papyrus has never missed a meeting. And no matter what time you call him on the phone, night, day, afternoon, morning, he always answers within the first two rings. But now he's gone. And his brother isn't around either. What did you do to him? What did you do to him? Papyrus, who I have trained every day, even though I know he's too goofy to ever hurt anyone. Go ahead, prepare however you want, but when you step forward, I will kill you. I don't need a save for you. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! On guard. Undyne attacks. Attack 50, defense 20, the heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Green it on, hero. Not bad, then how about this? For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. And now sunlight is just within our reach. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Nah, enough warning up. Nice one. Heh, <laughs> you're tough. But even if you could beat me, So stop being so dang resilient. Oh jeez. Okay, you're getting serious now. So why? What the hell are humans made out of? Anyone else would be dead by now. Alfie's told me humans were determined. I see now what she meant by that. But I'm determined too. Believe me, I know.
Nah, die already, you little brat! And then flips her spear impatiently. You're getting in my way! The spears pause for a moment. I will not be defeated! Flower pollen drifts in front of you. Nah. You were stronger than I thought. So then, this is where it ends. No. No. I won't die. Alphys, Asgore, Papyrus. Everyone is counting on me to protect them. Nah! Human, in the name of everybody's hopes and dreams, I will defeat you. You can try. Come on, is that all you've got? Pathetic. You're going to have to try harder than that. Just die. See how strong we are when we believe in ourselves? You're slowing down. Why don't you rest? <laughs> Had enough yet? I won't give up. What's the point? Ha. Ha. Alphys. This is what I was afraid of. This is why I never told you. No, no, not yet. I won't die. Ah! I won't die. I won't die. I won't die. I won't die. I won't die.